Hello, in this tutorial I'll show you how you can easily recover that kind of hidden photographic toning option when you're using gradient maps to do a color grading of the skin tones of most of your images. So, for later versions of Photoshop, maybe from 2019 onwards, that option was hidden somewhere within your Photoshop. It is still there, it wasn't removed, it was just hidden somewhere. So I'll show you how you can easily recover it or get it back into your Photoshop and use it to color grade your image the best way and have those nice and rich skin tones in most of your images. I remember I did a tutorial about how to get amazing skin tones as I was starting out YouTube and that was done before or oh, within 2019 and I had an old version of Photoshop and the option of photographic toning was still visible in the gradient map option in Photoshop. But later on when I upgraded, that kind of got lost from my Photoshop. So without further ado, and before you can just proceed, let me just give you a moment to hit the like button on this video because I realize most of you tend not to hit the like button on most of my videos because when you hit the like button, this is going to be shown to most people out there and YouTube is going to recommend it to more photographers or people willing to learn like you are doing right on this tutorial. So let me just hope you're done hitting the like button. So in order to recover that kind of option, I just want to show you how you can recover it and how you can use it to color grade and get those rich and amazing skin tones in your images. So remember we are now going to recover the photographic toning option within Photoshop. And I'm using a Photoshop version of a Photoshop version of, of 2020. So in order to recover it, so let me first show you. When I come to gradient map right here and I click here, you can see when I scroll all the way down, I don't have my photographic toning option within these sliders. So in order to recover it, I'm just going to cancel and come and delete this. In order to get it back into Photoshop, simply come to window, then you come to gradient. So when you hit gradient, so I'm just going to come back window and come to gradients and it's going to op open another option right for us here so in order to get that kind of gradient or photographic toning option you have to come and click right here and you look for legacy gradient so when you click on it it is going to embed that kind of legacy gradient option within our gradient map so when you scroll into the legacy gradients and you look for it right here, you can see that we have photographic toning within the legacy gradients. You can see option is right into or within the legacy gradients in Photoshop. So when you come back to uh, the gradient map option and click right there, and we click on this color right there, and we scroll through and we look for legacy gradients, which is right here. And we scroll within the legacy gradients. You can see that we have photographic toning embedded within. And when you click right there, we have the different color swatches or options. So let me just increase on this. So we have these various options. And you can see when I click through, uh, we have these colors that are close to skin tone. I hope you can see these colors that are really nice and close to skin tone and i'm just going to use sapia tick because for my last tutorial or the tutorial that i created within those days was i was using more of the sapia antique option and after selecting it you can see it has mapped and the shadows are really dark or black in color and we have the option which says uh this is more of my mid-tones but the, my mid-tones are just close to my shadows so you can move this to affect more of the highlights depending on what you want or you can easily add another point within the sapia antique option just right here so when you click and add another color for example i could come and add like a simple green color by making a point single click and you can add another point within this option so i'm just going to uh, delete this by hitting Control Command Z. So remember, I just want to use Sapia Antique as the color grading tool for the skin tones of this very image. 
So I'm just going to come and hit OK and it's going to look fine but it has affected the overall image. Then just come to the blend mode and change it from normal and I'm just going to look for linear light right here. So you can scroll through the different blend modes and see what works best for you but I prefer I'm just going to go with a soft light rather not linear light. I'm just going to come to soft light and you can see the skin tones are really looking nice and beautiful but remember this is a little bit too much the intensity is too much for our liking just come down to the opacity option and simply you can decrease on the opacity depending on the look you're trying to go in for or how warm you want the skin tones to be so you can see the before and after before and after so right now the image is looking warm but remember it is affecting also the hair color or the shadows are also tending to attract that kind of warm color within the skin tone. So in order to encounter or overcome that kind of option, you have to come to the gradient map option and simply double click and open up your layer style dialog box right here. So in order to eliminate it from affecting the shadows, you are going to come to the underlying layer and simply move this. You can see these two boxes or they are like triangles. Move them from the shadow area. So you click on them and move them from the shadow area just like that. And as you are doing this, you are noticing that it is removing that color from affecting my shadows of all the shadow area of the image. So I think right there we are good to go. And now we just want to refine the selection and in order to refine hold down the alternate key on the keyboard and you split these two triangles so alternate and click to split them to have a better and refined kind of outline so just move i think this looks fine and better and come and hit ok right there so you can see the before and after before after so right now the image looks good but I feel like the opacity is too much. So you can come and simply reduce on the opacity depending on the look you're trying to go in for like I have already said. So this is the before, after, before, after and the skin tones are really are rich. So you can add one more step to your color grading for all you wish to by using the color balance option and just coming right here to the color balance and you can add a specific color to uh, the image for example I prefer to add uh, this kind of greenish feel or that kind of greenish tint towards my highlights I'm just going to come to the magentas and move this towards the green side just uh, like that and it's going to be adding that kind of greenish feel within my highlights to complement more of the skin tones. I'm just going to come and close that so you can see the before and after for our color balance and you can intensify the darks or the shadows of the image by coming back to selective color and simply darkening the blacks just like that and let's see the overall before and after so I've just intensified the darks or the black color in the black section so so let's see the overall before and after for the color grading of these rich skin tones and hold down the alternate before, after, before, after. I hope you can see the difference right now. So basically this is how you can recover the hidden photographic toning option within your Photoshop and how you can use it to get those nice, rich and amazing skin tones within your images in just Photoshop. So this is all for today's tutorial and if at all you have found it really helpful don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you haven't hit the subscribe button on this channel. I am Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.